it's been a while. So I took a little break from YouTube for a while. Now I'm back. I kind of wanted to have a break because I was very confused about what I wanted to do with YouTube and I was confused if I even wanted to keep doing it. I decided to take a break to kind of collect my thoughts and feelings about what I wanted to do with this channel and if I wanted to keep posting videos. And I realized on my break that I missed this. I just don't have like enough time to post a video every single week and I kind of get burnt out really fast when I do that because I also silversmith and I also sell vintage as well and on top of that I also have a job that I go to five days out of the week. I just put a lot on my plate if you know what I mean and I know I'm a incredibly small channel and I just want to say thank you to everyone that reached out to me saying they missed my videos and were wondering when I was going to upload again. It means a lot to me. I have a very, very large haul for y'all. It's probably the biggest thrift haul that I'm ever going to have. All these items I thrifted. I didn't find at estate sales or at antique shops or at like flea markets or anything like that. I found them at thrift stores. I think there's one item that I did not find at a thrift store. I found it at an antique store and I'll let you guys know which item that is. I included it in this haul because it's just too good to not show you guys. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. So we're going to start with t-shirts. I have been finding a lot of t-shirts lately, so let's just go through these really quickly. I found this vintage 70s like Virgo shirt that has like, it's like those iron-on kind of graphics and it's sparkly and it's Virgo. I'm not a Virgo, but I know a lot of Virgos. And then I found this vintage t-shirt that says Peppers, Waikiki, Grill and Bar. I doubt that place is there anymore. Now this t-shirt is one of my favorite t-shirts that I found at the thrift store. It's, I don't know how old it is. I want to guess it's from like the 40s or 30s. Based off of how it's made and how it's sewn, it's very different. It's single stitch. It has this really pretty like little lace cut design kind of on the sleeves and it's by the brand Reg Trademark 32 Race brand Far Eastern shirt. I don't know what that means but it's definitely a very old tag. And then I found this t-shirt that someone chopped the sleeves off of and it says Gold Point, Nevada, the friendly ghost town. It has a cute little ghost on it. I recently came across this one YouTuber and he bought a ghost town near Death Valley and it's very fascinating to watch. So the next t-shirt I found is this vintage Mickey Mouse one and it's very soft and it's single stitch. And then I found some like athletic kind of ringer style shirts and this one's just by Sophie Athletics. My mom said that she had a shirt similar to this in like the 70s and 80s. I also found another one, but it is orange and it's very soft. Really like this one. I found this very beat up and shredded shirt and it says Indiana University on it and it's by the brand Quality Sportswear. This one's pretty old. I think the shirt's from like the 50s or so. I don't know. It's supposed to be an extra large and look how boxy that coat is. Then I found another athletic ringer type shirt and this one says Bourbon Street, New Orleans and it's by the brand The Knits and I've always wanted to go to New Orleans. I just feel like I would really like the architecture there and I really want to go see it. This is one of my favorite shirts that I found recently. It's Saloon Platoon and it has some beer on it and it says looking for a few good beers. Now the last shirt is more of like a jersey, not really a shirt and it's just a really old jersey that says 55 on it and it's by the brand Fab Knit Quality Supreme Athletic Manufacturing Co. And I believe this is from the 50s. It needs some work. It has some tears in it and some holes but I really liked it because it has one of my favorite numbers which is five. Now we're going to move on to button-ups that I have found. found this wool Pendleton button-up that's made in the USA and I really like this one. I really like the colors and everything but it is just way too big for me. Like I like oversized flannels but like when I put this on it's just like to the point where it's so oversized it just looks weird. So I'll probably be sewing this one and then recently I, was, I got very excited about this one. I found another Pendleton wool button-up flannel but this one is my size and I really liked the colors on this one so I'm very excited I found one in my size. 
And then I found this H Bar C California Ranch Wear Vintage Button Up and I really liked the design on it. It's kind of like a flannel patch kind of design. Kind of reminds me of Raggedy Annie for some reason. Then this is kind of like a weird find. I don't know how old this is. I don't know. My dad said in the 70s this was really popular to wear like vintage flower sacks as shirts. So maybe this is from the 70s. All right. So this is one of my favorite shirts that I found and it's this little Roy Rogers button up. It's for a kid. Like this, this would not fit me. I wish it would. And the embroidery on this is just the most darling thing I have ever seen. The last button up that I found is a bowling shirt and I've been wanting to find a bowling shirt at the thrift store and I finally did. It's a certified instructor bowling proprietors of Southern California and it's from 1962 to 1963 so this guy is pretty old. It also has Sylvia embroidered and I don't think Sylvia ever wore this because it still has the care tag on it. So I found this vintage UCLA Bruins. Anyone who likes UCLA or goes to UCLA. My mom went to UCLA. Fun fact. And then I also found this sweater. It says Mackie Mosaic Bulldogs. It has a cute little bulldog on it. I thought it was the cutest sweater ever. I'm excited to wear it. This sweater is pretty cute. It says feet don't fail me now. And on the back it says Team Ace Wrap and it's by the brand Bassett Walker. And then I also found this hoodie, Omega Kappa Tau, which I believe is a fraternity. I looked it up and it's a vintage sweatshirt by Russell Athletic. I don't find a lot of sweatshirt hoodies, you know? I usually just find sweatshirts. And then my last sweatshirt is my favorite one and it has Mickey on it. It's very cute. And on the back it says Walt Disney School Burbank, California. And again, it's by Bassett Walker, much like. Okay, now we're on to knitted sweaters. I found this like 60s poncho. It's very cute. I love like the rusty um, orange color and then it has some yellow and then it actually has a stripe of green in it, which I think is a good contrast. And it's by the brand Della Junior Petites. This sweater is my favorite sweater I found and it's by Cuddle Knit. It's just a very chunky knit that I love and the buttons are all big and huge and it has kind of like this raised knit to make like a little line across. Then I found this knitted cardigan sweater but it has some nice little designs on it and it's by the brand Julie Knitwear. I don't think it's ever been worn because it still has like a tag on it that says medium in 100% Orlon acrylic. Now I have two sweaters that I believe are from the 70s. They both are like this knitted tie wrap sweater that has like a tie around it and it kind of has like a little bit of a bell sleeve. I found this like blue and like greenish one and then I just found this blue one that also has the tie. Now we're gonna move on to dresses. I found this like 50s, 60s little baby doll nighty, but it's a really cute little sweet pink baby doll that has some lace on the front and the sides. And then it also has like a little cover up shawl thing. That's very cute as well. And then I found this like 50s dress by Stanton Juniors Petite. It's very like plain in the front, but it's very fitted and in the back it has ruffles and like a little button design and it also has a metal zipper and it is from the 50s i think someone just like cut it to make it a lot shorter i found this 60s 70s ray dolls san francisco little embroidered kind of denim looking it's not really denim it's not a denim material but it looks denim little dress but that's more of a springtime dress and then i found this i think it's from the 90s has like a very low back but it's very flattering and it's by the brand alchemy new york and it fits me very well so i really liked it i've been super into plaid wool skirts as you can tell, whenever I see them at thrift store, I always grab them. I found this Pendleton one. I need to um, 
fix the elastic in it. It looked like someone was already working on it and then they decided to give up and just gave it to the thrift store. And then I also found this plaid skirt that is by the brand PS Tops. I believe it's like probably 70s I would say based off of how it is. I don't know, I'm just guessing. But it has buttons on the side and then it's pleated. It's very Christmassy kind of colors. Then I found this plaid skirt, which is my favorite. And it has like some leather buckle details on the front and then on the back as well. And then it's Pure New Wool is the brand, apparently. It's pleated in the back and kind of in the front as well. And then it's just plain. Much excite for plaid skirts. I really like them. And then I found this vintage US Navy Cracker Jack uniform and it just has the wool pants with the really cool like button detail design on the front and then it has like a little lace up in the back. And then I actually have one of these wool tops already. Mine I believe is a lot older than this one. Probably will be selling this one. I also found this wool plaid blanket. I have an obsession with them. I have so many already, but I need more, you know, like Ariel. And this one's by Wool of the West. It's just a really nice wool blanket. All right, next up are jackets. Um, This isn't a jacket. It's a vest, but it's in my jacket pile. So this is just a very nice leather suede vest and it has some shirling in it and like it has a really cool like secret pocket in there you know you could put some skittles or i don't know why i just thought of skittles but it's a cute like little western vest that has some pockets i don't really know what the brand is it has like some weird writing going on can't read it not very legible i found this vintage scoop is the brand jacket and it has a shirling on the inside and the outside is like knitted and has these cute little pom-pom balls on the top portion of the jacket unique you know kind of different i believe this jacket is from the 70s next item i found is this 30s 40s i would say little blazer coat jacket and it's by fashioned by don't new york d-o-n-g-e apostrophe over the e i don't know how to pronounce that i tried it's a very nicely made coat it has some cute little pleats in the back as well and i really liked the sleeves a lot they're kind of like bell sleeves a little they're not very fitted i found a military jacket that's from the uk england it says amf it has a little patch right there as well it's a very nice camo jacket it's just very cool to find military wear that is from a different country and then i found this jacket it's isky cams which i believe is like what i looked at it's like motorsports or something but it's a really cool jacket it has like metal zipper and then it has like kind of like this fleece lining on the inside and the brand is Envoy. The next item I found, I found at an antique shop. I didn't thrift this item. It's just this Miss Pioneer 60s, 70s leather coat and it's very nice and like sturdy. This Chimeo wool blanket design on the front and the back as well. All right, now I also found this, I think it's 50s. It's Rosenberg's Santa Rosa, California little trench coat and it's like a wool trench coat. The last clothing item I have is another jacket. It's by JCPenney Towncraft. So it's a nice vintage leather coat. I really liked the, I would say this is like faux three kind of shirling lining but it's not really shirling at all and i was just very excited about this coat because it's oversized but it fits me very nicely and it's very heavy duty and it will keep me very warm for the winter time so very excited about it it's kind of like an everyday coat right, now we're going to move on to accessories knickknacks you know all that good shenanigans so I found this black coach purse. I've actually found one of these before at the thrift store. The other one I have is a bit of a different design. It's a lot bigger than this one too, but I really liked this one because it's a lot smaller. And I also found this vintage bandana. I don't know if like anyone cares if I show a vintage bandana, but I'm very excited about this because I have never found a 50s or older bandana at the thrift store. And I could tell this one is much older because I have some older bandanas that that my boyfriend's mom has given me. And then I found a beret. I, I wasn't a huge beret person when it was like in style two years ago or so, but um, found this one and it's vintage. So I thought maybe I could be like a beret person now. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'll update you guys later on that. By the brand, 
I just had a brain fart, sorry. Genuine Bray Basque, made in France for Normandy. It's 100% wool. It's old, it's an old, it's an old guy. <laughs> Now let's head on to shoes. I found this like 60s, 70s pair. That's like a leather. The style of it is very cute. It's by the brand. I don't know if I can read that. It's something craft. The shoes need some TLC. They're a little, little worn and the glue is pretty worn. I'll just fix them up and they'll be good to go. I really like these ones. And then I also found these ones by the brand Fascinators and they're just metallic 70s little heeled sandal shoes. I actually have these on my Etsy and I'm surprised no one has bought them yet because they're very cute. I would keep them for myself, but they're a size eight and I'm not a size eight, I'm a six and a half. And I found a pair of cowboy boots. I've been wanting a pair of cowboy boots. I find cowboy boots all the time, but I don't really find my size and I found my size and they're by the brand Dan Post and they're made in the USA. Now we're going into the very last few items. Yay. The next knickknack item I have is just this metal Aladdin thermal that's vintage and it has a plaid, very nice plaid design on it. I've been wanting one of these like vintage thermals for a while and I finally found one at the thrift store and I was very excited about it. The rest is the best part, always is. Then I found, like I always do, I have to always find beer memorabilia because I like beer. I like cheap beer, you know way to my heart just buy me a very cheap beer and i'll love you forever i just found this budweiser piggy bank i don't know how old it is and then i found a gas lantern i've been wanting to find a vintage gas lantern and this is by the brand winged wheel made in japan i finally found one at the thrift store usually i see them at antique shops all the time and they sell them for so much like i see them go for like 40 dollars, and i'm like no thank you use it for decorations you know make my house look like you are camping that's that's my goal um i want my house to look like you are camping inside last items are some cups i found i found this really pretty olympia beer mug i actually have two one's holding my one's holding my pens already they seem to be pretty old i don't know how old but i've never seen an olympia cup with this you know design on it then i found this alaska souvenir mug and I thought it was really cool I really liked the shape of it like and I also love finding vintage national park memorabilia as well I have a few in my house already and I found this one by Glacier National Park I've never been to Glacier National Park been to Montana but never been to the national park there the last item I have is this really cool Schlitz beer cup I really like how big this cup is. I mean, I could drink so much water out of this, but this is very nice, very nice. I really like it. All right, I'm done. All right, so that is my haul. It was a lot. I will probably be selling some of the items that I showed in my Etsy shop and other items as well that I did not show. Stay updated with my Etsy if you like. I'll leave it here. I also have an Instagram for my Etsy if you want to follow that. I also have my own Instagram where I post things. And that's it. Later. Okay, you make it down.